Okay, as long as we're on a roll with the videos, how about I show you a little bit of, of how I do my plumbing. You gotta start somewhere, it's a closed loop, so let's start with the pump. We have a 1200 gallon an hour pump. It's down in the uh, deep water culture. And it pumps underground and then up into my first 125 gallon tank. This is full of uh, blue gilt and goldfish. But here we go. The water. Uh, is drawn from the bottom and drains out these two two inch pipes into my second 125 gallon tank this is where i've got my tilapia i'm not sure what that is in the middle i think she's a brim a bluegill or something uh, there's my tilapia once again two two inch drains that flow into the big tank now this is all fed by gravity. Once it gets up to that first tank, everything feeds downhill by gravity. This is my catfish tank. There's a couple of big guys down in there. They got this tank all to themselves because they're so big they will eat anything else that goes in there with them. But over there you see my, uh, my three inch drain. It comes out and it goes to the radial flow filter Let's take a walk around there and go from the radial flow filter. The radial flow filter is situated between the fish tanks and the grow beds. That is so that uh, I can separate the heavy solids uh, and catch them there rather than sending them on down the line into the grow beds. Now I've showed, had a couple of videos here recently of the radial flow filter it's been running for about three days now let me ease this thing out of here and show you the conical bottom you can see how the solids are beginning to accumulate down there uh, this thing has been in operation now for this is the fourth full day so the water flows in here from the fish tank there's the three inch pipe coming out. It comes over, comes in, goes down and back up inside the, uh, the bucket, which serves as my radial. And then you can see right inside there, you can see where the water flows out. It flows out into the three inch feed pipe that goes the full length of the four grow beds. Each grow bed has a one inch drain with a valve and I've got the end of that uh, uh, that drain under the gravel just enough to to cover the water coming out so I don't get any splash and I don't get any algae growing let me put this cap back in there so we flowing all the beds are fed the last one and then from there everything goes through the bell siphons there's plenty of there's plenty of YouTube videos on bell siphons but this is where they come out into my sump tank and then from the sump tank it's drawn out goes underneath the wall comes up and does a U siphon and from the U siphon they go down uh, there's two of them two two inch U siphons these have been in operation for two years uh, almost flawlessly uh, they work great but what happens is they transfer all the water that's coming out of the grow beds out of the gravel beds they go into the deep water culture which has not been planted yet come the water comes in on that end and then back on this end and we're back to the pump where it pumps it back uphill and starts it all over again now I only need to pump about 600 gallons an hour up there in order to keep these tanks uh, full of water and give it enough supply for the 
for the supplies to the tanks. The bell siphons trigger about, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes a piece. So these beds uh, flood and drain three to four times an hour. Let me show you underneath here. This is the bottom of the, let's see if we can find it, there it is. Okay, that's where it comes out of the bottom of the grow bed. It feeds into a series of 45s, one here and one here. And then it goes over and feeds into a four and a quarter or an inch and a quarter hose or pipe and goes down to the sump. Now uh, this little apparatus here is referred to as a, uh, a coanda drain and we use that with 245s rather than using a single 90 so there's not such a radical turn and it just makes it easier for the uh, bell siphon to trigger. Each one of those beds has one and each one of them feeds individually to the sump tank. Now to take care of the excess water because we have a larger tank than the uh, pump than what we need, I bypass the excess water. Now, right now, I bypass the water back up into my towers where I'm growing some lettuce right now. But this water comes across the top, it's fed into these towers, it drains down through the towers, it's collected on the bottom, and then runs off and it comes back and goes down here and flows back into the deep water culture and that's what happens to my excess water now if when I'm not using my towers I can switch over and bypass using this hose here there goes my excess water so either way I have a way of, of bypassing the water that I do not need. If I pumped all the water up there, it would flood and then we'd have a serious problem. So just running through it real quick. That's the way it works. Uh, it's all a matter of uh, keeping the balance between how much water I've got going in and I control that here. Then all the water that is that is extra goes up into there, into the bell, uh, to the towers. But by controlling this valve here, that controls the level in the tank here, and the balance is, uh, is controlled between all of those with that one inch valve that you see coming out of the three inch uh, drain pipe. So it's all just a matter of, of uh, checks and balances. You got your bell siphons going, they're going to trigger uh, top and bottom. Uh, it doesn't, really doesn't matter. They should do it at least a couple of times an hour. Uh, some people say it should be every 15 minutes, but uh, as long as it's flooding and draining, it's going to do the job. And uh, that's what little bit of aer aeration I get right there. And that seems to be enough to take care of the fish. Of course, I get aeration down here coming back from the, uh, the towers. I get aeration over there from the water draining downhill. I get the aeration there for this tank. And then these drains, I get a little bit of aeration over there for the tilapia. And then it over drains and flows into here. And I get the air in the big tank. And there you go. I get plenty of air all the way on the other end. So that gives me a lot of aeration in the deep water culture. And that's kind of naked right now, but uh, we will eventually uh, this spring uh, get some stuff planted and in the meantime though I've thrown some lettuce into the to the towers and uh, the, the lettuce loves it that is some really sweet delicious le salad lettuce right there and uh, we've been enjoying a lot of that so there you go got any questions put it on the comments and uh, I will get back to you as quick as I can. From Halponics, thanks for watching.